Atlanta, Georgia, one of the greatest cities of the storied American South, headquarters to several multinational companies and home to some five and a half million people, is also home to tens of thousands who are members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and who have been quietly anticipating a special day, the rededication of their temple following extensive renovations at its site in the tree-lined community of Sandy Springs, north of the city. Now that the day is here for it to be dedicated, I'm just really grateful to have the temple, the light of the temple, back here in Atlanta. On Saturday evening at the Atlanta Civic Center, Church President Thomas S. Monson warmly greeted and then spoke before a crowd of Latter-day Saints and friends of the church to wish them well and inaugurate a cultural celebration of music and dance. The magnificent Atlanta Temple in this beautiful part of the country will be rededicated in the morning. It is, of course, the reason for this great celebration. Although, as you will point out, its light has been somewhat dimmed for nearly two years tomorrow. That light will return. More than 2,700 Latter-day Saint youth were anxiously prepared to celebrate the coming day, but were first blessed by the prophet of the church. I pronounce a blessing upon you that you may feel the love which we have for you. May you know that our Heavenly Father loves you, and I bless you that you will ever have a desire to serve him and his son, Jesus Christ. I bless you that you'll always face the light and walk in the truth. My heart was on fire the entire time. Um, I like, actually started crying. Can you imagine? For some of them, this is a chance in a lifetime. The heart-pounding performance spanned generations of American entertainment and a tribute to the charm and music of the South in a fun-filled, non-stop show called Southern Lights. You could really feel the spirit as everyone was watching and cheering for everyone else, and it was just a great, great atmosphere. I think all of the hard work we put into being at every practice and everything really paid off. The temple they revere and celebrated on this night was first dedicated 28 years ago which original dedication was attended by President Monson in 1983. It was the first temple in the American Southeast. Today, with its extensive new landscaping, garden setting, and renovated interiors, the Atlanta Temple will now serve 15 stakes and 151 congregations in Georgia, and also portions of Alabama, Florida, North Carolina, and Tennessee. For two weeks in April, the temple was toured by more than 57,000 visitors. And on Sunday morning, May 1st, the temple was rededicated by President Monson during two sessions in the company of more than 2,000 in attendance. Well, to our family, it means togetherness forever. And that's something that I would really love to have, is my family with me forever. Because I love them so much here. I just don't want to imagine, you know, being without them. Well, I think it was a very spiritual experience for, for me, especially, you know, being back here and, uh, and having the temple rededicated and it's been closed for so long. We've just been excited about uh, being a part of it. It's really hard to describe the feelings that you experience when you're inside the temple with a prophet. I was right there with him. It's very touching. The spirit is just overwhelming and uh, you feel peace and you feel love, but mostly gratitude that the temple has been rededicated and we can enter the doors again.